G'day guys and welcome back and welcome to Beachmont Road. This is actually the second time I've ever actually been up this road. Yesterday I went up here with the boys. I actually didn't bring the camera. Don't know why. Thought I might just ride just a ride. But yeah, this morning I thought I have some time. I'll actually go all the way to Binnaburra Lodge. Unfortunately, the wife said, no, I had to be home by 10. So I think we're just gonna go back up to the bus stop, I think, thereabouts. It's not too bad a ride, actually. Average of about four to five percent, I think. Kicks a little bit here and there, but nice wide road, hardly any cars. Yeah, nice and cruisy. Let's crack on. So very much like my uh, Springbrook ride, click here to watch that one. It's so nice and peaceful out here. All you're gonna listen to is the cicadas. And some birds. And a motorbike every so often. So yeah, yesterday we came up here with the boys. Wasn't the greatest weather actually, so I'm glad we actually came up here because from here you can actually see the coastline and it was raining. And up here, pretty dry. So very thankful. Here you go, check out this view. So down there's Hinds Dam, our local water supply. And all the way over there is the Gold Coast skyline. Whew. So hot. Not a bad view to look at. Quite nice. Compared to yesterday, it seems I'm a bit slower. I think that might come down to the fact that I didn't roll my legs yesterday and didn't have much sleep last night. All right, so we made it to the top. Um, so you probably noticed like, recently I haven't actually been uploading videos. Yeah, dad life. Now that we've got two kids, it's... Um, yeah, riding's definitely taken a back seat, that's for sure. Um, I can generally only ride maybe once on the weekends, and then any other day that my firstborn is in kindy, which even then it's like today, I didn't get on the bike till seven, almost 7.30. So it just makes life a little bit difficult trying to do a little bit further. And even today's ride up here at the moment, it's, what are we looking at? 8.30 and it's already um, 30 degrees so on this climb it's bloody hot so even though I haven't been posting I have been for a couple of rides but I have had some issues some expensive issues I've had to replace one spoke on the rear wheel on one ride um, that because it's always happened on a Thursday or Friday that one did by the time they could repair it was Tuesday or Wednesday, so I couldn't do a lot of riding over the weekends. The following, the next ride, I blew, for some reason my front tyre went flat, and being tubeless, it decided to unseat itself. So that was fun in the middle of a road trying to fix that. And then last weekend, we went for a ride, and I blew another spoke on the rear tyre. Um, the first time when I blew the first spoke, they asked me, do you want to replace all of them? And I said, oh no, it's only one, I'll just do, replace that one. I should have just got them replaced them all because it wasn't actually snapping the spoke. It was actually snapping here at the nipple and inside. So now this back tire actually has them all replaced. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that solves the issue. Um, it's what, at two and a half years and five and a half thousand Ks. And I'll be honest, it's because we live on the Gold Coast. Like they just get salt corroded. So here, they said on the inside of them there was a little bit of corrosion on the inside. Um, so under the rim tape, so good old salt, good old Gold Coast. Not much you can do about that. Apart from trying to put a little bit of oil, they said, on the actual each spoke after a wash. 
So I might end up trying to do that as well. Um, but yeah, for some reason the front tire completely unseated itself. I have no idea why. And on the middle of the ride, on that ride, I couldn't actually reseat it because I was too far away from a bike shop. And then um, I had to put a tube in. And then because when I put the tube in, I actually pierced by the very smallest margin, the rim tape. Now I only figured this out after trying to bloody put the tire on about four times and spending about four hours trying to do the bloody thing, I noticed there was the smallest nick. And it would actually seat, but it would actually come out through here, which on the inside. It is slow leak. So yeah, I had to replace the whole rim tape as well, which that was pretty easy. Once I did that, completely fine. But something I didn't realize, because yeah, when I took the tire, the tire off to put the tube in I didn't take it completely all the way off so I sort of just jammed it in you know as you do when you've got tubes you don't really care about the rim tape around the um around the valve stem but obviously with tubeless you do because that little nick ruined it all all right so now that I have a little bit of a rest um the time is 8 30 so I gotta get home by 10 I actually want to go back through a mudra bar so what's the old system saying we have oops, wrong one, route. 30 k's to go so I should be able to do it within an hour even though there's some hills shall see hopefully I'm not late the wife will probably kill me So just as I was about to descend, a uh, little bus came along and I was like, oh, I'll let him go because surely he's going to be faster than me down the hill. Yeah, I should have gone first. He really slowed me down to the point where I actually slowed down to actually get a better gap because it's a really nice flowing descent. Um, it's actually quickly becoming, even though I've only ridden this twice now, I think that's probably the most enjoyable descent around here on the Gold Coast. Um, it's a lot more flowing than Springbrook. Um, the road is way smoother and there's hardly any potholes or any dirt or any rocks so compared to Springbrook there's a lot of rocks on the road so I think inside of the corners um, which can make things a little bit unnerving as you're trying to corner at 40 k's an hour and not want to lose the front end um, so yeah hope you enjoyed um, I'm going to crack onto Gilston Road now head back into Merrimack and then cruise on home for this meeting which I really hope I'm not going to be late for. All right, guys, let's crack on. Now for some shorter and sharper hills, which are probably going to kill my legs after a descent. I'm going to be honest. I'm not looking forward to it. But I could have gone home the flat way. But hills for the win. 